We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Jalen Phillips, Miami Dolphins edge defender. And to me, this is like the second biggest get because he's finally getting healthy after Jalen Ramsey coming back because he helps his front seven so much. He's the best pure pass rusher on the team, in my opinion. He also helps out the running game because he plays with a lot of instincts. He's, you know, a great athlete, and he just understands how to get to the quarterback. Wins quicker than anyone on this team. Look how he sets up this pass rush move. Like, they even have Gusecki to his side here to basically slow him down so he can't completely win around the edge with speed here. Just, you know... A slight little hesitation and he so he takes his first initial step towards the tackle and then gets to the outside and then he does a good job here showing this right hand like he might go for a long arm type move to get this offensive line to bait with his hands and now he just you know swipes and rips underneath just great usage with your hands right there that savviness and then he has that you know the hip fluidity and bend to corner and get to the quarterback because he's a freak of nature out there and just I think, you know, he can be one of the biggest difference makers on this team. You know, missing a couple weeks, coming back, being injured. He started to look like himself against the Eagles again. And then just took over. was really dominant in this Patriots game. I feel like Phillips isn't really known for his run defense. But you can't block him with a tight end. He's actually always made some pretty solid plays versus the run. Just like, usually not as like the edge setter type. But like when he gets to knife to the inside make these plays with pure instincts but they just give him a tight on one-on-one -on -one, and you can see him just bully him at the point of attack like there's a lot of space here riley's got to fill and take up on this old line and look how much phillips creates like uh like he constricts this run lane he displaces this o -line, or tight end and makes him run right into elliot and then you know finishes this for you know no gain on the play on uh zeke so really really good work versus the run like what phillips brought there and then obviously as a pass rusher that's where he makes his game changing plays this is something phillips did a lot in college like as that edge guy he would just knife to the inside pure instincts like if he felt this guy like overstep here he's gonna knife to the inside and then hope the linebacker is able to scrape and become the new force defender he does this a lot and i think you know they've given him this freedom and once he sees this space open up right here this guy's late to react he shoots in here and then stevenson's reading him and now he knows he's in control of this gap. Baker's kind of filled in that for him. And then he just spins out of it and makes that tackle. That's just really good athleticism, really good processing of what you're seeing. Uh, intelligent football player. And just excited to see him be really unleashed. And I think the whole front seven will really benefit, especially when pass rushing, from the whole secondary finally being healthy, get a, you know, a little bit extra time in certain situations. And they are all have been very effective rushing the pass of this season. So excited to see how that all blends together. A pretty good battle with Lane Johnson. I'll show the sack that he had against him later on too. And Lane had not given up a sack till 2020. This rep, I feel like he does a decent job of like pushing Lane back into the face of Hertz, which is not easy. He does a good job with his long arm there. You can see the space created. This Lane is so good, like about as good as right tackles you'll face in the league. Love how he combines his footwork here too, pressing up into him, and then when into the outs get to the outside, and then he just has like a little bit of a long arm here. One arm is longer than two, and now he just has enough power. Good. Look at how low he is too. Can, maintaining your speed when you're this low is very difficult, and maintaining some power, and he pushes him back into Hertz, which you don't see many edges being able to like being capable of doing. And here's the sack, Phillips, with the instincts to knife to the inside. He sees all that room coming, and they have the blitz to the outside with the with the corner there. So he knows he has to knife to the inside because they're bringing this blitz off the edge. So he gives him a little bit of a stab to the outside. I love how he, you know, he basically, like, works his edge rushing like he's a wide receiver sometimes with how he sets things up, which I like to see. Sell it with your whole body, and he's just so athletic to get to the inside. Rip underneath, getting held, and just keeps working to the quarterback, gets the sack to me best pass rusher on the team for sure just as a pure you know one-on-one -on -one guy I would take Phillips over anyone on the team and everyone's been playing pretty well this year like Wilkins having his best pass rushing year Sealer's been pretty effective too Chubb has been much better as of late and then the linebackers and, and Andrew Van Ginkle as well uh Andrew Van Ginkle has been very good this season when he's had to start and then the linebackers are probably at their best when blitzing so just making some impactful plays out there in space also this was David Long blitzing I thought it was a DB for a sec, but yeah, just a linebacker, and they're bringing these blitz, and he comes to the inside and just wins these reps so efficiently. Phillips can also be like a disciplined run defender. If you leave him unblocked on the backside of some outside zone, he can get down, close the space, but he could also, you know, stay square, stay disciplined, waiting for the cutback. Like, he wants to constrict the run lane, but doesn't want to over-pursue just in case. So they leave him out here in space. He knows he has the range. Like, he's a great athlete. He can get down and close very quickly, but he's also waiting possibly for the boot. And once he sees the handoff, get downhill 
close, help limit that gain. Very good job from Phillips. Love the disciplined play. Not really like what he's always doing. Sometimes he can be a little over aggressive at times, but clearly he shows there that he's capable of it. Here we get to see him rushing the passer week one. Didn't get to see just too many opportunities in the other games because he got hurt. Um, but he can definitely, you know, this is where he makes his impact. Just turning this guy open with this right tackle. Just so much explosiveness off the edge. He can, he has a variety of pass rush moves, but here just keeps it pretty basic. Like how he gets his heart stabbed to the inside, like he might work back in here. Keep this right tackle on his toes. And now just turn and open the gate right there with your two hands. Uh, just a straight power move. And now he's, as he's about to close on Herbert, he tries to escape the pocket. And then he's so athletic, gets off of it, makes that play. The length, the power, all the traits that he possesses just combine very, very well to making a great pass rusher. And I feel like he can become one of the best in the league. He's already very good, in my opinion. But I think he can become one of the top of the tops uh, when he, if he's able to stay t healthy the rest of the season. And, you know, use everything that was given to him to his advantage like to see this play from the edge right here they leave him unblocked initially bring the puller drop your shoulder into them you know use like a jackhammer technique whatever you need to do just constrict these run lanes look how he's able to because like if he stays out here a little too far and he doesn't recognize this um then he gets kicked out and there's a big lane to hit through for the running back but you do what you want to do here you drop down take that shoulder you also have your outside leverage still so this guy can't bounce outside of you and then come off of it and then help with your linebacker to bring the guy down pretty much excellent work from a technique standpoint understanding the angles and leverage of what's going on here jalen phillips i feel like is a pretty underrated run defender here's jalen phillips getting a one-on-one -on -one. i think another big thing is he typically gets more uh like chips to his side than anyone else when he's out there like he's the main focus for an offensive line like they get the tight end to his side uh, and things like that here he doesn't get it like but he's usually the one in the obvious pass rush situations that gets those looks of what when he does get his one-on-ones he's got to make them count like he does here love how he can set these things up <laughs> it's taking forever to show the play uh, speed through it but look he's very you know intense look we're almost like works like a little bit of a ghost move here shows the initial move he's slow playing it and then gives a like little move like he might hit the cross shot but then he dips his shoulder underneath Look at that bend in his lower half. For a guy of his size, he moves so well, and now he's able to corner, get around to the edge. Herbert, he almost hits this ball out just a tad late, but it forces Herbert to throw it, and I think he might even get a little bit of a uh, hit on him there to make that thing wobble. But you can just see the pure athleticism that he possesses, and he will go out there and give you a bunch of different looks uh, with his pass rush repertoire. The Chargers go empty, but clearly in this situation, they're like trying to slow down these edge rushers with like how tight everyone is. These running backs, they make you go wide, but he can go so wide, like in these wide nine positions and still get to the quarterback is insane. Like not a, guy, a lot of guys are able to bend like this. This right tackle first step was just wrong. That's what happened there. But he just rips underneath, throw that elbow back, uh, make your hips open up. And even while getting pushed around like this, He's still able to corner, get there, and hit, get a hit on the quarterback, make Herbert throw it away quickly. Just elite pass rushing reps. This is the end of the Chargers game, second and 21. This is the first sack they get, and he's there to get there. He doesn't get you know any credit for the sack the other players do. But as you can see, the running back releasing to his uh, to this side, so he has to win around to the edge here. And look, I love how he sets this up. He attacks the hat, like look how his step is like literally at the midsection of this guy setting this up to now dip underneath look how low he's able to get rip guys like hooking up him around the you know helmet there and if herbert first initial step is to the right here but it's it's goes straight into phillips but he's going to the left so it goes to sealer wilkins everyone else gets the sack but phillips won his rep there with ease last play that we're gonna break down look at phillips here look how wide the edge rusher is here and like this wider like the tight ends in a tight split and he's still able to get to the outside that is a thing of beauty like this right tackle knows like hey i gotta get wide here look how wide this guy is but look how he sets this up he gets wide and then he oh my god that's absolutely beautiful but we'll watch this a little more slowly and he gives him like a little hesitation foot fire just to freeze this right tackle just enough to the inside there with that inside stab and it gets him to overextend and now he just rips underneath the guy never expected it and for him to do that all so quickly and then meet at herbert and then he closes the game like he gets there as fast as Bethel does, and Bethel comes in unblocked, which is insane. Uh, Jalen Phillips is absolutely freak athlete, pass rusher, 
underrated run defender and i feel like having him back is such a good get like probably like the most underrated get because everyone's talking about ramsey in the secondary right now but i feel like uh phillips is the second most important uh player coming back for this defense so i'm excited to see how it all works out i think this defense could truly be special with everyone playing uh they've been playing better as of late even not fully healthy so we'll see how it all plays out i'm excited to watch them play versus the chiefs very good matchup to see what the, the potential of this team could be for the rest of the season see you to the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace